I am Carly Veldman, just now Carly Veldman Parks. I'm from Colbert, Georgia, and this horse show I won the Junior Trail on Could Be Sensational. I was reserve world champion today on What a Vested Asset in the Junior Western Riding, and I won the three-year-old Novice Horse Limited Rider with, I'm good with it. The trail specifically, I was so excited because that's a horse I bought from the Simons as a two-year-old and kind of brought her up and this year started teaching her the all-around and she's just really special because she's kind of just very unique <laughs> and um, her rider is a youth kid that works really hard with me too and we've just worked really hard to get her quiet and broke and so winning a class like trail on her as a four-year-old just felt awesome because she's such a good athlete so it's fun to bring her along and see her really excel in new events. This year we brought a lot of horses to the World Show, so my goal was just to make sure everyone was prepared, all the horses were prepared. When I was looking at the schedule with this many horses, I knew it was going to be a little hectic, and so I just decided overall just take it one day, one class at a time. Over the past couple years, a couple of trainers I really look up to, like my friend Sarah Simons and Karen Qualls, they've kind of encouraged me, like, you know what you're doing, you've got this, you can do it at a weekend horse show, so just stay calm and do it the same here. Just hearing that from other people, just to give me that confidence to just do what I know how to do has really helped me. When my master's amateur, Melissa Habercorn, she won the horsemanship on VR Knock Your Socks Off, and that meant a lot to me because she works super hard all the time, and I've had that horse. He was one of my first training horses ever, and um, she just went down and laid down one of her best patterns, and that was really that was an awesome moment for me. So I was just so proud of both of them. Um, I think I've been a trainer now for seven years and this was, and I've had a lot of opportunities, but this was my first time winning an open world championship. But instead of getting discouraged along the way, I just kept, you know, pacing along, working hard. And I think if you really keep your chin up and work hard no matter what, it will be your time eventually, so just to never give up and to never stop working as hard as you can.